in Firefox to get to your DOM inspector, you can go ahead and right click and go down to inspect element. Now this will bring up this little breadcrumb DOM location um, on the bottom and you have to do a little more to get the, the full DOM inspect. So this little icon right here will bring up the, um, the full DOM tree which you can then scroll through and as you click on the different elements you see it highlights the different parts of the page. Now if you want to see the CSS you go down to style and click on this and that'll show you the different styles for the different elements. So say I wanted to see the style of this heading here I can right click go to inspect element and you see that it's given me the styles for this this element right here. Now you can click on this little icon and then it'll allow you to see the element dynamically as you just hover your mouse over the thing in the page instead of having to right click individually. So that's a cool little feature. And then also you can do this, hide this and, and hide this. You can do this 3D view and this will kind of show you the way your page is built and layered up. So this shows the different elements are kind of stacked and you can get an idea of, of how your page is built. You can see my links there are are set um, a little bit they're, they're an additional element inside of the paragraph element so that's that's a cool little feature so this the this is the default Firefox DOM inspector and you can't pop it out into its own window I, as far as I can tell um, but you can close it with this but you may you may want to get um, firebug for Firefox firebug is kind of uh, one of the original um, DOM inspectors. It was an add-on originally. So go to getfirebug.com and install it. You can actually install it for lots of different browsers, but it was originally for Firefox. Is why it's called Firebug. Um, so you click on that and go through the whole installation process. It takes me to addons.mozilla.org, which is the most trusted place to get Firefox add-ons, so you definitely want to come here to download it. You could just go straight to addons.mozilla.org and do a search for Firebug if you want to shortcut the process. So now Firebug has been installed. I can close these windows and um, now if I right click on here you'll see two inspect elements. So this can be confusing if you've got Firebug installed. This is the default Firefox inspector and this inspect element with Firebug, this is the Firebug inspect inspector. So if you click on that, it looks a little different. Now this will look more similar to um, Chrome. This is, this is similar to Chrome. You've got the DOM inspector here and the, uh, the CSS here on the right and you can pick the different options within your CSS. Um, and the DOM, the DOM uh, tree is collapsible and all that. And then here's the same option where you can kind of highlight. If you want to pop it out into its own window, you can use this up icon. That'll pop it into its window. And then um, to bring it back, you can use the up button. Um, the down button kind of like minimizes it, and then this X button closes it completely. So it'll come up quicker again if you use the minimize rather than the X, I believe is what the difference is there. So again, don't get, uh, don't get confused. Um, you can you can deactivate it um, if you if you are getting confused, but don't get confused by the difference between this inspect that's the Firefox inspect, and then inspect with Firebug. This is the Firebug inspect. So um, I kind of recommend using Firebug. I really like it. Um, the the default Firefox one is not too bad if you can get used to this layout. Um, it's a little bit different than what I use on Chrome and it's it's different than what I'm used to from Firebug. So um, I suggest Firebug. I, again the URL is getfirebug.com.